guys welcome back to my channel so today I have been in the summer craving meaning I'm in the midwinter blues I have just been like over winter and I always get like this every year in the winter time I'm like this is the last year I'm spending in a cold winter I hate it I'm moving to California like I swear every single year I say that because I hate the cold and around this time where we're like past Christmas we still have Valentine's Day like we still have like at least at least two more months of like pure cold weather, I'm over it and I want summer. So I like a little mid winter pick me up and this is always the look I've gravitated towards. Of course, over the years the products have evolved and the products have changed, but the technique, the colors, the look itself has pretty much stayed the same and I've made tutorials similar to this, but I've never showed you guys the look that I always do whenever I need a little mid-winter glow. So yeah, I think it's still very winter appropriate because, you know, we do have a little bit of a more darker nude lip, but it's still very, like, summertime. So yeah, I'm going to get on to the tutorial and let's get started. Disclaimer, I used a new self tanner and it's very apparent that it made me orange. So we are going to not think about that. I'm going to try and scrub it off later tonight. But for the time being, I'm just going to be a little orange today. A little warm toned, if you will. To begin, I'm going to take the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. I feel like this has been more popular in the winter than it was in the summer. Because let me tell you, the middle of the winter is when my skin is dead, so I need this. I already moisturized my skin, so I'm really just going to put this on the high points of my face that I wish to keep highlighted. This is kind of the same as using a liquid illuminator. I just like this a little bit more. I think it smells better, and I think it's a little bit lighter, and I think it's a little bit more buildable and subtle and it doesn't give you a weird cast on your skin. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation and if you guys were OG from the summer then you totally know what I'm about to do right now and it is mix the Urban Decay One and Done with the Maybelline BB Cream. I grab that on the back of my hand and then I mix it together. <laughs> Even though these are BB creams and tinted moisturizers, as you guys can tell, they really don't play around. And the coverage is just amazing on these. Now I do like to go back in and lighten up my face. Now I have the Tarte Shape Tape, but it's in a super light shade, but I really want to use it because I'm just, I love this concealer. So I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape, but then I'm also going to mix it in a little bit with the NARS Vanilla, oh god, what's this called? Creamy Radiant Concealer. Radiant Creamy Concealer. Creamy Concealer by NARS. I don't know why I forgot that, but I did. Sorry. Like, I know this is going to be way too light. So I'm just doing a little bit, but like, I just want it on my face. Do you guys know what I mean? I just want it on there. I mean, I completely just... There's no point for me to put the Tarte Shape Tape on it. I just wanted it on my face. I can already see the comments now. And then to pass it all in, I'm going to be using my BB Blender. But come on, I know it's light, but like, come on, that's snatch, that's flawless. This is going to keep your skin radiant and glowy. It's all about playing with the light and the dark on your skin. And even if you're not tan, which is me all the time, I'm just tan this one instance because I was over being pale. Still highlighting and just adding color. That's what it's all about. Before I be expressive and before I crease, that's why I'm being pretty monitored right now. I'm going to set using the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm already creasing on the lid. i got to work quickly here, people. So I'm not going to let this bake for too, too long. So what I'm going to do is just sweep away the initial powder. And then I go in with the Anastasia Contour Kit and I take this shade over here, it's a little sparkly and I just go in and set the under eyes. 
has a little sheen to it, so it's going to keep my under eyes lively and not dull. Then I'm going to switch over to a translucent powder, and I'm going to set my smile lines, my chin, above my lip, my nose, and where I put the concealer on my forehead. Do you guys have this palette? Like, if you don't have this palette, I'm genuinely confused what you're doing with your life because this is the best palette to ever be released in the history of makeup. This is the TARDIS Pro Glow, and it is truly everything you could ever want in a highlight contour palette. First off, these shades are unreal. Let me show you guys this one. Like, unreal. It has a cream contour shade and it has a powder sculpting shade. This is beautiful if you're fair. It's so hard to find a great contour shade if you're light. This is the best ever. I'm obsessed with it. And it's really good when you're tan too. So it's good for all skin tones, but light girls out there, you're going to love this. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the sculpt shade and just throw it in my hollows. I don't really want to contour. I'm just sculpting back out my features. We're going to go back in and bronze, but I just want to have a little bit of dimension. I'm also just going to lightly hit the temples right here. When you're tan, this is just a really natural shade. It's super, super gorge. I'm going to take this on a blending brush. This is the MAC 224. I'm just going to run with it down the sides of my nose. Just a light contour, nothing too crazy. And then with the Anastasia contour palette, I'm going to go back in with that shimmery shade. And just go right down the sides of my nose contour. And that'll just really make it pop. I only recommend this bronzer when you're tan. When you're pale, it really is orange. This is MAC Give Me Sun. I only use this when I'm tan, so that's not a lot. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of zhuzh up what we just did with the Tarte Sculpting Powder. And someone left in the comments that this brush that I always use, that I always say I don't know the brush number of, it is a 135. Don't let this color go far. Go back in with the 224 and give me sun and throw that in the crease. We're going back in with this. This is going to be like the star of the show. I'm not even kidding you guys. I'm just really obsessed with it. For highlight, you would think, if you like think like how I do, you would think I'd go in with this shade immediately, which I did and I loved it. But... It gave me like the glow that I wanted, but it also kind of made it look like I put highlighter on, which I don't always want that look. So for today, I'm going to go in with this shade here. It's called Strobe. Oh my, oh my God. It is just gorgeous. Like it is, remember how I love this palette, my Hourglass Ambient Light palette? It is like that times a thousand. Like it is just, oh my God. Ooh. It is just, it's a glow. It's a subtle glow. And like that, you could stop right there. And it's just, it's gorgeous. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. To me, this side just looks raised. I just love this. Obviously, I'm going to pack some more on. Because that's just me. But, ooh. Ooh, baby. Ah, my God. I could just eat this highlighter up. I just, like, ugh, ugh. throw some above the brow. Ooh. Ooh, girl. I'm really highlighting this upper lip today. I am really looking like I have a milk mustache today. And to be even more extra, I'm taking this on a synthetic brush and putting it right under the high point of my brow. Like, I'm pretty much dumping this highlighter 
all over my face. <laughs> For blush, I'm gonna go in with Flower Child by Becca. I'm keeping this right on my apples. For the eyes, I'm going to keep them very simple. I'm going to take that same synthetic brush that we used for underneath my brow. I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of setting spray. This is my Urban Decay All Nighter. And then all the eyeshadows today are going to be me mixing highlighters. So I'm actually not using any eyeshadows. It's all bronzers and highlighters today. And that's like my favorite way of keeping myself glowy and bronzy. So I'm going to use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And I'm going to mix this one with this shade from the Tarte palette called Fire. And I'm just gonna pack them all over my lid. Take your 224 and just go back in and make sure that your crease doesn't get lost. Taking any dark gray eyeshadow, this is Print by MAC. You're just gonna smudge this into your upper lash line. With any black eyeliner, this is a gel liner. This is the Kylie Liner by Kylie. You can use pencil, liquid, gel, whatever you want. I'm just going in here and getting right in between my natural lashes and just filling in any gap. It's just going to make my lash line look a little bit fuller, but it's going to still give it that smoky look. For my waterline, if you have a white eyeliner, please use that. I guess mine got lost in the move of either going to college or moving into my new place. So I don't really know where my white eyeliner is ATM, but I'm going to use a eyeshadow base. It's white, it works, it's opaque, I'm into it. eyelashes but I'm going to show you what it looks like without them if you are into that as well and the mascara that I'm using on my upper lashes today is L'Oreal Telescopic so if you're in the mood to be natural this is what you're gonna look like without falsies but we all know me we all know that's not how I roll so I'm gonna go put on some falsies take my hair down and then I'll meet you back here in a second for lips I thought I was recording turns out I wasn't but I was saying that I've been craving to have like this kind of color on my lips also excuse my lashes I realized today that I'm fresh out of my Ardell Wispies. So this is like a super old pair that is so bad that I'm going to Target later and buying all new lashes today, so just excuse. But I'm putting Candy K on my lips. I've been craving this kind of nude color on my lips like this entire week. <laughs> So I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys want to see from me. I am going to do a lot of makeup, but I'm also going to add other videos in the mix, like, you know, more about, like, me and, like, lifestyle. Like, I could do, like, what I eat in a day. I could do, like, more Q&As. I can do, like, whatever you guys want. So let me know what you guys want. I'm not going to do, like, the DIY life hacks and stuff like that. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Snapchat. I have that all linked down below. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.